All right, I see more. Okay, so um, this is, I, I've redrawn it again. I just cut and pasted just the top part. After day three. So all of this is created after day three. I didn't know that before. Now, the only cell not to be created, okay, is the big kahuna. Let's just make him big kahuna right here. That guy. That's the last cell. Look, if you, on, on day four, okay, if this is for day three, on day four, the only place you can create anything is in here. So day four is the completion of the five by five. It's the completion of the five to one code. Now, let me just fill in the 76. So when day four lunk comes around, day four is a day. Boom. It creates the 76. It creates the one by five. Okay. So it's going to create a one by five. Okay. Now this is important. Okay. The one by five creates the fish. Okay. It's the five to one code. It creates the, uh, I'll show you the 5 to 1 code in a second after I get this drawn. Okay. So like, yeah, this will go like this. There's your there's your 5 to 1, okay? And let me just get that down a little more. There we go. And 5 to 1 code. So, day 4 comes along, you make a 1 by 5. Okay? And you complete a new one. Obviously, right? So now what happens is that it creates a fish, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna not fill in all the details about the the end parts here just yet. But our one by five is created. Okay. Boom. And our giant fish is created, okay? And it's like a big, it's like a big, uh, it's one of those fancy tropical fish, you know, that have like the, the triangle shape, like it's another fish guy. Like, see the fish that I'm drawing? It's like a dory fish, kind of. It's like dory. And then here's Nemo, right here. There's Nemo and dory. You know, let's make a clownfish. Okay, there's, you know, I should have made the other one blue, but whatever. So, fish aside, um, yeah, basically right here, okay, this is a one by eight. This is a one by eight. This is a one by eight. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> That's your your magnificent triple eight guy, <laughs> the Vesica Pisces. Oh, because that's a dot and that's a dot, so that could be an eight. Like there's an eight there, there's an eight there. Ah. Uh, Three to one. Uh, where's the other? Uh, it's just like that one and that one, obviously. But how are they linking? They're linking because that one probably goes like this. Okay, it's a closed loop. Anyways, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about continuing. So the importance is that. Okay, this is the important part. Um. Right here. Okay, where like where where does the next the next thing that goes to be created? Where does it go? Where does the next luminary go that be that's created? Okay, we have all the lights in the sky. Now all the lights in the sky are the completion of the seventy six. Now the seventy six just means that there's a uh, there's a uh, all the lights in the sky, all the other like cellular energy devices, let's say, all the other galaxies in the world. Okay, and that's represented by a one. Okay, it's it's just a new one. It's a one by one in the middle to complete the five by five. Now, if we ended up over here, okay, where plants are, and plants has a, an unhooked chain, 
okay? And there's a three is the one, and here's an unfixed chain. We're going to do the five is the one now. So this is what happens, okay? You have to imagine that because this is a new one, it's a new one by one, okay? It was created like this one, but right here. You have to understand that day four creates... Uh, day four creates a new circle, okay? And because that happens, and you have a link here, you, you're making a V, okay? So you're going to create, so for day four, you're going to create one more here. Okay, again, that's the way it was. Day four comes along, you're going to create one link here, okay? And one link here. Okay? And, no, no you don't. No, what happens with day four is our one is created here. That's our day four guy. And because of that, it makes a V. And you've learned about making Vs, but now you're working on an X. And in order to do an X, you need a top and a bottom. So you got to make two Vs. You have to, your, your one is a five. That's what it is. Okay, you're, you're making a new one, but you're doing a, a, a five to one. You're doing a five to one. So you're making a V instead of a 1. Now, again, what you're doing then is you're going to be making on day 4 a V right here. And you're making this V. And what you're doing right now is you're creating a new one of these, okay? A new hole, a new white hole. Now, Okay, so you've created a white hole here, and there's a white hole here, and there's a white hole here, and a white hole here, and a white hole here. That's one, two, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. See, it's a five made out of two columns that make a three-dimensional one. Okay? You see that? There's your 5 to 1. Or your 125, which is 126 lines of the Bible that are needed, you know, on the first page, start of the code. Okay? So, that's the importance of that, okay? Your 3 to 1 importance is already taken care of because of, again, down here. Let me just get rid of all this stuff. Your 3 to 1 happens here because this 3 was equal to this 1 before. This 1 by 2, which is a 1, I don't know, 3, 3, 3, yeah, that's what it is. It was 3, 2, 1. Okay, because this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it joins right here and this is day four and this is what we're going to make we haven't made this yet okay it's been created by other stuff from days one two and three but we haven't created it yet okay so what we're going to do now okay day four happens day four all the lights in the sky get created okay all the lights in the sky are created on day four okay we make a one by five and we can create the one by one, which is a 76, okay? Which is like a backwards 67, but it's a one by one, and 67 plus one plus one is a 69. You're creating another 69, okay? That's what it is. You're creating another 69 here. And because of that, you can start with this is a 69, this is a 69. And your one by two has to start off here. And it makes a five white holes with two columns to make a three dimensional tower. Okay, it's a tower guy. It's five to one. So, so next that happens is that you're going to create all the lights in the sky, okay, from the fourth day. That's this. This is the galaxies right here. These are the galaxies. Okay, it's a G. It's a big friggin' G for galaxy. 
And that's represented by this one right here, the galaxies. All the other galaxies are right here. Then you have a great light to rule the day, Jupiter. A great light to rule the night, Saturn. And the stars, the two eights, the 88 fixed rotating constellations in our celestial sky. And again, the moons get created. So that's the important thing here. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to have to use one by threes. Yeah, you're right, because I always have to be... Yeah, you're right. I'm going to have to use this. So look, this is what happens. Remember? Okay, this is Saturn. Okay, this one below it, let's say, is the... This is the moons of Jupiter. Okay? I believe it's like Ganymede, Callisto... Europa, and this would be Io. Okay, so literally you're creating like a one by three, but it's like a V. So you're, ah, oh, the one by three makes a one by two, and it makes two one by twos to make a V. That's what it's doing. So I think what happens is, when you so you created a V to get to the, the all the lights in the sky. So you created all the galaxies, all the other Gs. Okay, the four G, five G, whatever, all the Gs. Then Jupiter's created, but Jupiter. What's, yeah, Jupiter, and then, after, and then it's Mars, and Mars has two moons, so that's kind of like your V. Anyways, but all I'm trying to get at is where does the... Okay, if you make a V here, and then you're going to have to go from here to here. Oh, it probably goes back down. Probably when you create Jupiter, you do this. To, to create a new... A new white hole. Because there was no linkage here before. Okay, so like, I think all the lights in the sky need to happen and Jupiter to create that white hole to create the 5 to 1 code. Okay? Now again, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Okay, yeah. You make one V and then make another V. So that's all the lights in the sky for all the galaxies, and then a great light to rule the day would be Jupiter. And the the, the singularity, okay, will be the uh will be, will be Jupiter. Huh. Okay. So no, well, sorry if it's not as good as you thought or whatever um so the next thing created is saturn and saturn's created with his rings right so the rings of saturn gonna have to be v's again so v so jupiter so a v like that probably It makes sense, right? So I'm going to make that blue as well. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Let's do it right. Okay, so all the lights in the sky are created. We making, we're making a V, a pure V. Okay, and then Jupiter is created. We make a pure V. And then Saturn's created. We'll make a pure V. And then the stars are created. And the stars. So the stars would be, again, another pure V. Okay, finally, I can write in this, this 5 has been there, but now I can write in this 50. Okay, cool. And that's where we end. We end at the 50, which is perfect, because the next one, it, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So that's day 4. 
that's day four. So now we're going to move to day five. And in day five comes along, Mars is created. Oh, wait, wait, wait. When, when Jupiter, sorry, when Jupiter... I guess when the stars and when uh, like Jupiter and Saturn are created, I'm going to have to imagine the Mars of moons of Mars are created, but maybe not. Okay, well, the next thing created is the things for the for the aqua life and the foul life. So now for thinking about it. It's just another V. We're in base V land here. So what's going to happen is we're going to start from here. And we're going to go over and end at 712. And 712 is where I have the next cell for the moons. It's what I it's a uh, Phobos or Phoebe almost like Phobos. Okay again. This one this one here is Europa. Okay, that would have been created with the rings of Saturn. Oh shit, was it? Oh, I did it the wrong way. That one. That one I did wrong. I gotta start it. Yeah, because... I went from... I, I, yeah, okay. I gotta... Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm thinking out loud here. So, if I've made this... And then I've made... Sorry. Set. And then I've made this. I made that after. That's not what I should have done, I think. I don't think they're connected. That's duality. So then Saturn's created, and Saturn would have been like... Saturn wants to be the middle, so yeah, that's what it would have done. Okay, so hold on. Yeah, redo that one. Okay, so redo this one. Boom. That's doing this. Okay. The next one. Okay, let's let's do a like a brown, and let's pick my brush again. Yeah, the next thing to happen because there's a do there's a separation between. Jupiter and Saturn, but there isn't. Like, the separation is, like, here. Between Jupiter and your your big-ass... Your big-ass three here for your D. So, I don't think this is connected. So, I'm going to make a new one over here. I'm going to go like this. When Saturn is created, it does that to create Saturn. And then all the lights in the sky, and then the stars, the stars, the stars, the stars. Yeah, the stars would have to be the 28. So then what's happening next is you, you create the same thing going the other way. Like this. And, and the stars. So you're, you're making butts, okay? So the butt of Jupiter is here. The butt of Saturn is here, and the butt of the stars is here. And the only thing, all the lights in the sky are connecting all the Gs to this one. It's like a tube. It's like a wormhole, this black one right here. Cool. Okay, so that, that takes care of that. Okay, and now I can do this. Now I can type 50 here. Okay, good. Okay, so after the stars are created, the next thing created is Aqualife. So that's Mars. So you're creating... Newbies, you're going to be creating, uh, let's just do this. Look, it's perfect. It's actually where it goes. It's right here. You're making this V. And this V right here, okay, like, yeah, this this guy right here, so this is Europa. This is the moon of Jupiter. That would have been already created. And the very first thing that's created for Mars is right here. It's Phoebe. It goes Phoebus, Demois, Mars. So, so on day five, you create Phoebus or whatever it's called, Phobos, Phobos, Phobos. Demois, 
Des Moines right here. And then Mars. Right here, the eight. The eight is Mars. Okay, that's Mars. Okay, just want to make it very red. There's Mars. Okay, and then you have the sun. All right, the sun. And then we have plants. You want to make a V and tell me about street signs? Stop, go, and yield, and caution. Okay. So this is what's created after day five. Okay. That's including all the moons of um, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. Okay. And the last things to be created. Okay. Um, again, I'm focusing on the right-handed god right now because it's the luminaries. Are going to be these guys. This guy right here is Venus. This guy right here is Mercury, the messenger of God. And this right here is the moon. The last luminary created. I haven't really been keeping up, so day five, so all this shit should be created, so I should be moving, again, I should be moving everything, so I did day four and day five, okay, so that means day four and five will be day four, day five, Day four, day five, day four, day five, okay, and this is where things get weird, uh, so let's fill in these guys to just say they're counted for. Like, I don't know what lights these are called yet. No. Yet. <laughs> I'm confident I'll figure it out. I need that guy and that guy. Okay. So that's looking pretty decent. Uh, yeah, this guy's all done. I forgot that. Because we're talking about day four. In day four, we make the one by five. So all these would be made. Right? Uh, yeah, that looks right. Day four, day five. Maybe some with the L. Oh yeah, day day five. Oh yeah, let's go. We created the one by five on day five. We have to create a one by five again here. So this will be going like this, all the way to Jupiter, all the way back, to encapsulate the L. So now we have that nice little diagonal still working for us. And yeah, this would be the end of this one. So that's good. Okay. And then over here, all we're doing on the right hand of God is we're doing a bunch of V's for day four and day five. Maybe day five is X's. Oh yeah, and the sun being created obviously would have a, uh, a V.
Are they are they X's? Do you think they're Xing? I do. After V's come X's. So day four would be V's. Uh, day five shit would be X's. So that guy would be an X. This guy would be an X. And this guy would be an X. And even the goddamn sun would be an X. So you see, you can't have the sun without the moon and Mars. Everyone's all there. Those are your X's. Okay, so now we've circled the 174 here. Which is nice. We haven't done the 110, but it shouldn't be because the L was done, and that's continuation. Yeah, it's good. And then you have the 7. Okay, good. And we have the 2143 because of the X. Like, you do see the X, right? Like, this is. Here, let me just take the white out. This is your X. Okay. And there's one centered on 91. 8 and 6. Okay. So that pretty much has everything circled. Um, like, check it out. Uh, just for this part over here on the left hand of God. But we haven't gotten to day 6 yet. So day 6 has to finish it all. Has to complete it all. Now... No, there's more. If our 1 by 2 reaches over here, then I would imagine it would link up and make the final 69 here. Because I didn't do anything to the top call, top row. So then that would happen. Because I've done this on my other one. This is how I actually found these. Uh, this is actually how I found these values. Or whatever, infinite. And that guy will be like that. And if that happens... Oh, I see what it's going to do. It's going to solve the last two rows of the last day. So everything is solved except for... Okay, on, on that side of the line. Okay, uh... Now the creation of one, two, three, four X's, four tens, four tens, guy. Look what this does. Four ten. Four ten is forty, and that's the number of I keep saying something important. Um look what that does, guy. It uh it brings us like a diamond to a diamond. And it's one, two, three, Four tall. Well, uh, these have been already accounted for, these two ones, and then you're connecting all this, okay, to make a three dimensional object, and that fills up pretty much the entire three by five. You know? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. You know? That's on an angle. I one can imagine that if you fill the entire three by five here, the duality happens between positive and negative. And doesn't that look perfect because Right, right here. I have a a plus interlocking with the 174 already for the plant, for the stem of the flower guy. So that shows me that there's a linkage, and if there's a linkage, it'll propagate. And this is the first thing to be 
put here? The first moon of Mars is here. So if I go one, two, three, like one, two, three from there, it'd be one, two, three from here. You'd end at the D and put one on the D. When you put one on the D, you encapsulate all that. Okay, and there'll be one on the, the 174 too. So this one will be all encapsulated. Okay, which means that your your C here is taken care of, your 110 here is taken care of, your 100 here is taken care of, your 174 here is taken care of, your 100 here is taken care of, the 500, sorry guys, I know, the 1000, I just don't want to go on to day 6 until I'm ready, the 55, and your D. And again, your C, D is like your 3, 4, <laughs> third dimension. Okay, so, so now, after day 5, after the creation where the last luminary was, the sun, all we have to do is the bottom row, and... I was up to here, and he got put, yeah. And these, this is a V here, and a zero here, and a line here, I guess. Isn't that funny? Kind of gives you an entire one by nine, okay? And big, big ass one by nine. It gives you a singularity. It gives you a one by two, and it gives you a V. Like it gives you a, a zero, you know? Like it gives you a, a zero, a one, and a V. And then the X is the whole thing kind of thing. Maybe this is your plus. And this is your V, and this is your line, and this is your dot. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so we've done up to day five. So day five, we've learned about where we come from. Okay. So, like, I, I'm going to, yeah, I think this is smart. Okay, so I'm going to say we learned about where we come from. We learned about making a one-dimensional line. We learned about making a V. And we learned about making a plus. Okay, and it's right in the middle of the D. See the, the, the D circle right here? Isn't that beautiful? It's all in the D guy. Everything I've done here is in the D. The whole plus, the whole everything. Everything's in the D. And once you get the D, everything in the D, the D is what? D's a big dot. It's this guy right here. And once you fill in this guy with your with your D dot, then you create the one by nine. The one by nine. Huh, very interesting. So yeah, so we haven't really like okay, so if it goes V oh L, that's why. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so why does that happen then? Because that would be one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I think you're. I th I, I, wait, no, this is what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to take my pink. So, so this. Okay, let's just. I apologize, everyone. There's your D. Listening to jazz can't be any more chiller than this. Okay, there's your D. Okay, and it's inside a, fl a fly speck where Jupiter is. 13 right there. It's a different dimension of 4. Okay. So now... Oh, my foot's falling asleep. 
So we have to solve for a dot. We have to solve for a line. We have to solve for the V has to start with the singularity. Okay, so you probably need to bridge the dot and the so I'm probably going to guess that Ah, whatever. Let's just say it goes like this. This is your V. Okay. Actually, no. This is your V. That's your V. And your X is going to be right here. Because look, you link with the 1 and the V with your X. And there's your dot. Okay. Everything's being taught to you in the D. That's how important it is. So I'm guessing when you when you count for like because Venus, Mercury, and Moon don't really have moons, but one is a moon. So I'm just trying to think how, how, like, where do I, like, how do I justify starting here for Venus? That would mean that everything would have to be complete. But I guess we've we've gone until day five, and day five would be quite simply, and sorry, day five, day five. Oh, why? Oh, day five would be one thing, two thing three thing, four thing, five thing. And five thing is the L. So the only L I can see right here is that L. There's an L. So maybe Venus. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Because the M is a thousand. Okay, so this is what Venus is now. When Venus comes along, it's the 110. Okay, but it's going to signify, uh, it's already circled. It's a 110 with a 1 around it. You're going to backwards. You understand that? It's a 110, but it has a 1 around it already because it's already circled. It's already been created by all the other shit. What is that? In backwards land, that's like one 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 zero. But in backwards land, it would be like a one zero zero zero. Now, if you read it backwards, it's a thousand, and it's right here. It's right here, right here. That's where it goes. So this is the creation of Venus. This is Venus, guy. Okay. Venus is right here. All right, Saturday Night Jazz. That's Venus. Okay, that is Venus. <laughs> okay, and the next one we have is a 13, and it's circled. Okay, well, let's, we need a one-dimensional line. Oh, a 3 is the 1. Look, look, okay. Uh, here's what we have. Okay, you literally have a 10 with a 100 on top of it. Okay? What is that? Well, actually, okay. That's showing me a three is a one. Thirteen, right here. That's Mercury. So Mercury is now represented by this 10 right here and this 100 as a one dimensional line, a one by two. And if you, like the top of it, see these, this is why these aren't connected. And then this would do this. And it would fill in this 55, okay? And this new one 
with the little bit of white hole and the black holeness, but you have a little white hole in the middle, is the moon. All this, all this right here, all of this is the moon. That's Mercury, and that's Venus. <laughs> looks like an olive. It looks like, like another D almost. Looks like an eyeball. Looks like a lot of things, guy. And once that's done, you create an L. When you create the L, you finally you finally create the L. And all the things that go in it. So that's your one, that's your eight, that's your twenty-one, that's your three forty, that's your sixty-four thirty-six, that's your five twenty-two, that's your ego three two two, that's your thousand. And that's your 5,000. Done. Now I haven't even added the cool stuff. Like I haven't even added like the uh, the diamond. Okay. I haven't added the heart that goes to the one and in. It takes the 91 and the 2143 and comes in. I haven't depicted the spade. I haven't depicted the club. I haven't depicted, like, the Superman logo, the diamond. Yeah, I haven't depicted Armageddon. I haven't depicted the infinite knot. I don't know if these are cont I don't I think they are. I don't think that the 8 and the 110 are touching. But if they were, it'd make a knot. And that's what they want us to think. We're in a knot, but we're not in a knot. We're in a really big, messy shirt. Um, like, I, I forgot the daisy, too. You know? Well, I think this one got highlighted. There, that one's highlighted already. Uh, that one's being highlighted as we speak. There's like a lot going on. Anyway. I hope you found that entertaining. Okay, again, here I made the... Like, everything is circled, guy. Like, not one thing hasn't been doubly circled by anything except for the bottom. It's a giant L. Okay. Everything has been, like, severed off. Everything is its own unique bubble. Okay, well, what is it then? Okay, so let's say the 81 cells, but you're making an L 
out of 10 things, so you've really only circled 71 things, right? So there's 71 cells that are all individual single cells, and you have a 1, 1 by 10, okay? So you have 71 things, and you have a 1 L, and together that's 72 and 2, and together that's your 74. That's your God particle. Okay, for your, for your last time here, guys, I'm going to crayon the shit out of it. It's all about the God particle of fly spec math. And God is just a word. It's a number, guy. Don't get all upset and put your panties in a knot, okay? Like, literally, all God is is number. And math. And all of that. Oh, actually, hold on a second. It means a little more than that, okay? You spiritual people. I like your spiritualness. Whatever. Enjoy it. But don't be retarded. And don't go by the old paradigm because you're being fooled into believe something that's not real. You're waiting for a savior and story and bullshit like that. It's all about energy, guy. Electrical energy. Spiritual energy. Okay. Good. Right? So, like... Right? There's 81 cells. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that are not playing along individually. That's only a one individual. It's 81 minus 10 is 71. Look, it's 74. It's got everything back to God all the time. All the time. <sighs> all right. 